What's up guys, Sean Connors here, and in this video, we are gonna go on the first of many neighborhood tours through Downingtown, and I only thought that it would be fitting to start with my neighborhood, which is Downingtown Borough. Now, as you may or may not know, there's an east side and a west side, so depending on where you live in the borough, you will attend Downingtown East or Downingtown West. I've been lucky enough to live in both and I'm currently in the west side. So I want to take you on a tour of the west side and point out to you everything that I love about this town. So let's go and take a look. All right, so as we make a left and head down 30, you'll see that little building right there on the right, which is the Downingtown Log Cabin, which is one of the things that we're famous for. It was built in the 1700s. And then right after that is the beginning of Kerr Park. And then on the left, is the Downingtown Borough Municipal Building and the police station. So coming up are a few of Downingtown's local businesses, some of them which have been in business for a long time. And on the left is Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza. And then on the right is the Blob Diner or the Downingtown Diner. Two of the newest additions on the right are the Farmhouse Coffee and the Creamery, both of which have incredible coffee and ice cream. Coming up here on the left is Station Tap Room, which is one of the staples of Downingtown as far as food and beer. They have delicious food and a ton of great beers. Now we're gonna head down Stewart Avenue and right here at the stop sign is Pennsylvania, which is one of the major streets in the entire borough. And as we go down Stewart, you'll see beautiful houses, some of them which have been around for a very long time and are very well kept. We're gonna make a left now onto William Street, which is one of the older streets in the borough. One of the great things about Downingtown Borough is the fact that the housing is still affordable. So Chester County is the wealthiest county in the entire state of Pennsylvania. And in Downingtown, inside the borough, you can still buy properties in the $100,000 range and the $200,000 range. Especially here on William Street, some of these houses, the Cape Cod style homes, they sell for in the low to mid 200s. So coming up straight ahead is Beaver Creek Elementary School, which is the elementary school for residents that live in the west side of downtown borough. We're gonna make our way now down Mary Street. And as you can see on the left there, there's a Little League football field. And on the other side of the football field is the dog park, which is one of the amazing features of living in Downingtown. Now on Mary Street, the thing that you have to look out for if you decide to buy a home here is that a good portion of these homes, especially these row homes on the left and some of them on the right are actually in the flood zone. So you can buy a house for the upper 100,000s on this street. But one thing you'll have to know is that most likely you will be paying flood insurance. Now we're gonna make a right onto Highland Avenue, which is another one of the longest streets in Downingtown Borough. And a cool fact about Highland Avenue is that on Halloween, this is hands down the best street to go trick or treating on. A lot of these houses get decked out to the nine and it is a great place to take your family on Halloween night.
As we turn on to Pennsylvania Avenue, you'll notice right there on the left, that is the front of Beaver Creek Elementary School, and you have access to it right here on the left. In addition to the current street that I live on, Pennsylvania Avenue is definitely one of my most favorite in the borough. My wife and I and our daughter take our dogs for our walk almost every night down the street and it's just always peaceful and the neighbors are always very friendly. Another fact about Stewart Avenue is that these homes on the right for the most part are also in the flood zone too. So if you see a home come up here, just know that you'll have to be looking out for paying flood insurance. So coming up on the left is the Downingtown Little League field. And then right after that on the right, you'll see that building under construction, which is STEM High School is one of the three high schools in the district. And then right next to STEM on the right is Downingtown West High School. And then right behind Downingtown West is Downingtown Middle School. We're also going to take a left into the St. Joseph's parking lot right here, which is a Roman Catholic church and a Roman Catholic school. And finally, we are going to be turning on the flagship street of Downingtown, which is Downing Ave, and it is the street that I live on. I only joke around and say that it's the flagship because it bears the name of the town. Thanks for taking that little ride with me and I hope that you have a better understanding of what Downingtown Borough has to offer, especially the west side. Now, if you found this information helpful, you know, if you're looking to relocate to Downingtown, if you're coming from out of state, in state, whatever it is, and you need any help around that, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I can always be reached by text or call at 267-808-0574 and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Have a great day. Take care.